by number 11. Anthony, talk about the, the play of the UCLA defense and, and leading this defense this season. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I think we've made great strides and you know, just coming together and playing a pretty sound defense and having a big, big challenge up ahead in a couple of days. What have you seen from the, the Virginia Tech offense? You know, I think it starts with the quarterback. I think he's the engine of the offense, and he, they go as he goes, and so we just got to try and contain him as much as possible. Have you had to try to sack many guys that big? Six, six, two, three, two. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, it'll be fun. <laughs> How's the trip to El Paso treated you so far? Man, so far so good. Uh, they've been very hospitable, and uh, I think we've enjoyed our stay so far. When you think back on your switch from offense, is it ever a bummer that you only got two years on defense, especially given how well things have gone in those two years? Uh, yeah, but um, I don't really dwell on it too much. You know, what's done is done, and uh, I'm here. Mm. Coach says you have an amazing awareness of everything that's going on on your side of the ball. Where does that come from? Does that come, stem from playing offense a lot or earlier in your career? It just comes from watching football, man, ever since I was a kid. And uh, just being aware of different situations and watching so many games, you kind of pick up on those kind of things. NFL games or college games or both? All the above. High school and uh, college NFL. Uh, you know, 6 a.m. watching game, uh, uh, prime time, and then watching the first games on CBS and Fox and just watching them all day. Do you watch a specific? Do you watch the linebacker <laughs> position then, or are you watching everything? No, growing up, I didn't even know how to watch. You know, footballs so just watching the ball, and then uh, you kind of just learn situations. From there. <laughs> how would you watch a game now? Um, just watching certain positions, kind of see all right, if I'm going to scab one. It depends on what I'm looking for. If I'm looking at a tackle, or at a running back, how he how he plays the game, or kind of tight end, how he blocks, stuff like that. You said you took Miles kind of under your wing a little bit, or he said that too. Mm-hmm. What did you see in him at first? Like, what what really caught your eye about him when you first saw him on the field? Just a worker, man. Uh, those people stand out. You can tell right away. And those are the kind of people you want to be on the team. And you want to continue to encourage them. And, uh, hopefully they can encourage others to work like, like uh, he did. I know he said that uh, he was trying to work on his pass rushing <clears throat> most, and that's what he was trying to get from you. What, what did you kind of counsel him on? How to get better at pass rushing, or, or what kind of stuff did you show him? Uh, well, he, he tried to go a little too fast at first. You know, mm-hmm. I think he's just used to everything coming so easy to him, and this is something that's a little more difficult to, to grasp. So I just told him to slow down. You know, mm-hmm. It'll come in time. It's a, it's a thing of habit, and I think he's improved. Do you really do you really feel like a mentor to him, kind of? No, nah, man, that's, that's, that's not my bro. You know what I'm saying? It's not, <laughs> I don't really feel like a mentor, but mm-hmm. you know, if he has any questions, he knows I'm, I'm here for him. Mm-hmm. Has he said anything about not having a sack yet? Is that frustrating? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I think he's doing pretty well for himself. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sure it uh, doesn't bother him too much. He said you're stealing them from him. You're, you're hogging all of them. Mm, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> I should have more than I do. That's, that's another, another topic. <laughs> Why did you want to play running back originally? Um, well, that's just what I was playing growing up. And uh, I think when you're young, you're kind of a better athlete than just working all through your running back just because you know, the quarterbacks don't really know what they're doing at a young age. And so uh, that's just something I've... I grew up doing something I love doing, and uh, it's something I want to continue to do. Did you play linebacker in high school too? Or? I did my freshman year. Okay. And I kind of just stuck primarily with offense. And you look at the numbers; it looks like you took to it immediately. I mean, was it was it an easy transition then for you? Or? Uh, no, not at all. Um, it took a lot of there was a lot of work behind it, behind the scenes. Um, but you know, it's just a testament to my coaches and my teammates uh, getting me to where I am. What's your relation relationship like with Coach Mora? It's awesome. You know, and he's a, a guy I can go and talk to about anything, not just football. And I think that's really important. You mentioned the sacks. They are down a little bit from last year. He mentioned that he, Morrow mentioned that he'll line you up inside sometimes, which is not a real pass rushing yeah. spot. And, yeah. you, and you'll do it because you're unselfish. I mean, is that, are you kind of that team first guy like that? or is that... Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're not going to have any fun if you're losing games. So, I mean, if, if what I'm doing is going to help us win, no more for it. Now, you and Miles kind of have that coincidence that you guys both played running back, or he's still playing, I guess, a little bit. Uh, is there any is there any bond in that that you guys are both you guys are both two way players at least at one point in your career? Uh, I don't think career? so. You know, I just think you know, we just like playing with one another. I think we complement each other's games a little bit, and off the field too, we have a good relationship. So it's mm-hmm. a combination of everything. Mm-hmm. Do you ever miss running the ball? Uh, no, no more. I'm good. <laughs> Was it knees that, that did it? I mean, just too uh, many no, hits on the no, knees? No, or? it was not, nothing to do with that. It was just time for a change. And uh, to make it. Opportunity, right? Right. Yeah. When, you, when, you when you look back on this senior year, 
what stands out is what maybe you benefited most from having come back, especially with the NFL ahead. Um, I think just growing and being, becoming a more mature player and um, making decisions, good decisions off the field. And then um, just kind of taking the leadership role this year. I think it's made me more vocal and kind of come out of my shell a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think that's important going forward. Mm-hmm. Is there an NFL player you look up to or pattern your game after at uh, all? Or? No. There's some that I, I like to watch, but I wouldn't say this is what I, I look up to. Okay. Who do you like to watch? Uh, Vaughn, um, Alden Smith, and uh, that's probably the two guys that stand out the most. What comes with pass rushing? Thanks, Andrew. Cool. Thanks, Andrew.